This video is about the ROI's identity, which is applicable in the Marshallian demand approach. It is basically forwarded by René Roy. His lifespan was 1894 till 1977. The basic idea behind Roy's identity is that we can recover the Marshallian demand functions if we are given the indirect utility function. So applying Roy's identity, we can convert the indirect utility function into the Marshallian demand functions. This is the formula in which we see that there are two derivatives getting divided. That is the derivative of the indirect utility function with respect to the price of the first good, which is Px in this case. And it is divided by the derivative of the indirect utility function again, but this time with respect to the budget. We also put a negative sign here and then the final answer will be equal to the Marshallian demand function. Similarly, for the other good, that is y, the only change will be there, that is py. Other terms will remain the same. Only the independent variable in the numerator will change. So now we solve it for the first partial derivative that we need, that is this one. And then we will need this one. And finally, we will need this one. These three partial derivatives will be required to find out these two Marshallian demand functions. The fourth one is the same as the second one because the denominator in this formula is the same. So only three of them are to be found. This is the partial differentiation of the indirect utility function with respect to Px. This is the indirect utility function. This is the independent variable Px. And we are going to take its derivative. And here i and py will be considered as constants and this coefficient will come out and only this term will be differentiated as it contains px. This is the application of power rule and we all know how to do the power rule for differentiation. So this will be the answer of it. Now we note it. Now we have the partial differentiation of the indirect utility function with respect to py. And here you see that it is py the independent variable. These two terms will be constant and i will also be considered as constant whereas py will be differentiated the term with py. So this is the term after reciprocalizing it. Now we take its derivative with, uh, due to the power we use the power rule and the power rule will guide us to this value. These two terms they will we multiply it and we will get this term. So now we have the two partial derivatives with respect to px and py. Finally, the derivative with respect to i will be calculated. And here, i term is here, which is uh, having power 1. So its derivative will become 1. This will remain the same, this couple of uh, terms, because they do not have i in them and 0.5 will also come outside as a coefficient. So the other terms are surviving here whereas i will disappear due to the derivative. Now we have all three derivatives to find out the Marshallian demand functions using the Roy's identity. So here we are the formula for the Marshallian demand function for good x and here you see that we have substituted the value that is the derivative with respect to px of the indirect utility function and in the numerator we have found that the value is this the same value that we just found in the last step so we have substituted this found value and now we can easily cancel out the terms that are cancelable and here you see these two terms are cancelled and we are left with these terms once we have these terms uh, we can um, reciprocalize this px and then merge it with this px so that their powers they get added and now we have px raised to the power minus 1 here it goes in the numerator um, a denominator and its power becomes plus 1 so now if you look at this term it is actually equal to the Marshallian demand function for good x so this verifies that Roy's identity helps us to recover the Marshallian demand function same can be done for good y you can see that this time we are using the other formula that is py 
and once we apply this formula the two values will be substituted the numerator has a new value the denominator however has uh, the same value that we had that is the same derivative appears in the denominator so now we can um, easily simplify it rearrange it to write it in the most suitable form that is this form and this is equal to the Marshallian demand function for good y so it approves that the Roy's identity is applicable to the Marshallian approach and it helps us to recover the Marshallian demand functions when the indirect probability function is given thank you